Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah Jane. Thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. So, Disney kind of threw us a curveball um, and released a minute and a half long trailer for Mulan. The teaser trailer. It's a teaser trailer. <laughs> uh, so, Disney released a minute and a half teaser trailer for Mulan. Uh, we, we haven't done a reaction video in a very long time. Mainly because most of them we weren't super excited on and it wasn't one of those that I knew I'd have a good reaction for. Um, I mean, what beats Endgame and Frozen 2? So... Spider-Man? Well, and Spider-Man. <laughs> that one was a good one too. Um, so we're going to do this for the Mulan trailer. Have any comments before? I am... If they show who's going to be uh, Mushu, it's going to be interesting. Because although I would love to have Eddie Murphy reprise the role, whoever does it has some shoes to fill. That's all I got to say. But let's see how this goes first before I make that judgment call, yeah. right? So once again, um, if you guys haven't watched it, I'm going to post in the top here um, a link to it. If you want to watch it before you watch our reaction. Go for it, feel free. Um, so without further ado. She's on horseback already. We have excellent news. The matchmaker has found you an auspicious match. She looks so young. Oh, that's her father? She looks so young. There's so much in this trailer. Yeah, you go. Is she seriously standing up against the Huns on her own? As a woman? Remember, the Huns don't care. She, they don't care if she's a woman. They just care that she's a warrior and she's going down because they're she's opposing them. And but I'm, holy crap! They actually gave her like a traditional fighting style too. That is amazing. Oh, I'm gonna love this. One. I <laughs> I didn't expect them to go that young, but honestly, thinking about it, she is that young in the movie. They just, I mean, it's a cartoon, so it doesn't really show it. And she has a longer face than most of the Disney character, uh, princesses. So I never noticed it. Um, it looks like the actress they picked for her is pretty good. Um, once again, the youthfulness is a lot more than I expected. And her face is fuller well, than I thought. I guess it does make sense, because considering the time era and... The time era and everything else. You've mentioned even before that sometimes uh, families would marry off their daughters like, like before young. the age of 16. Well, and, and that's else. the thing. She is, but I think she's between 15 and 16, if I remember correctly. I mean, most of the Disney princesses are around that age. So, like, they're all really young. I think Ariel is like 14 or 15. I think. Yeah. So, this was a good trailer. There's a lot packed into it. You get to see the matchmaker. You get to see her father and her family. You get to see we saw her it. in the dress that and, she's... And her and her, like, tra not her armor, but her training uniform. Like for Yeah, her, her training uniform, her um, her armor, I thought I saw. I think we only saw the helmet, but we didn't, I didn't at least yeah. I didn't see the full armor set. Yeah, but the helmet, like, was very decorated and very detailed, and I really like that. Um, I liked that 
We didn't see Shang. We did not see Shang. We did not see Mushu. Yeah. Um. Do you think they'll add the cricket? I hope so. <laughs> we also didn't see um. The three, the three guys that hang out with her. Oh yeah, yeah. Lee and. Lee Yao. Yao and. Chimpo. Chim Chim Chimpo, yeah. I think so. I did, I'm pretty sure I butchered that last one, but Lee Yao and Chimpo weren't in it either. So wow. They show they showed a glimpse of uh of the Hun leader, but they didn't really mm -hmm. show him show him. I yeah. guess they're trying to make They showed more of her and they have her in this bright red outfit at the end with her hair out. It's odd seeing it because in the Mulan, in at least the the cartoon, it was more green and black than red. So it's Well, and very everything different. is white in the background. So I'm wondering if she's still in the snow, but like, or, it's just weird because it's not the palace. And I'm wondering if they did it that way because of the, um, they're making it different, which I like. Um, it's just throwing me for a loop. <laughs> or it could just be pulling off like what they've been doing with Marvel. They only show you this much, but it's not the real scene because, you know, yeah. they don't want to spoil everything. They like edit the background out or ma do a mask and change the background, which I guess makes some sense too. Or they filmed the ending in two different aspects to see where they wanted to go with the film in the end but we won't know i did notice that they did not show any type of music on there other than just background music so mm -hmm. do you think this is actually going to stick to like well it musical? sounded like it it sounded like the um uh, reflection they had like the instrumental for reflection so they might have that aspect of it I, I really hope they do because there's some really good music in that one. Um, I was earlier, I was uh, listening to Lion King music and <laughs> I noticed that they have the actual Lion King soundtrack for the new one that's coming out out already. Already? Apparently. Okay. I, I wasn't going to listen to it. I don't want to listen to it until after I watch the movie, which Tony and I already have tickets for, but... I'm very curious about this one because they've been waiting so long to put it out and now like 11 hours ago they just went here it is have fun well I mean I wouldn't be surprised surprised it took him a while reading up the the myths and legends of um, the real Mulan can get a little dicey especially yeah. since since supposedly in the old myths and lore she goes throughout the entire war for 20 plus years at, at minimum at, as far as I remember before anyone ever discovered that she was a woman no one even batted an took eye took that long and then she was just like okay I don't know I, something happened every mythos has a different variant like one saying she was executed another saying she disappeared into legend other mm -hmm. saying she returned home but none's been confirmed if she ever returned home on that one so it's like it depends yeah. on who you talk to each one has a different legend to it yeah. but in terms of this one i'm still excited and i can't wait to see an, o an official trailer not just a teaser but this teaser's definitely got my eye like staring at it and everything yeah. i'm glad they picked an asian actress for her too and oh, didn't Lord. whitewash her Oh lord, like, can you imagine if they did? So, with the Little Mermaid thing going on, I really don't care what her color is so long as she plays the part right. I don't understand why people have such a big problem with it. Like, if she is a good actress and she is good for the part, fine. I'm okay with that. Honestly, Ariel should have dreads anyways. And in the lore of the Little Mermaid, she is green. And she actually ends up dying and turning into sea foam at the end because she didn't get the prince's soul. She needed a piece of her his soul to survive because apparently mermaids don't have souls. So I'm just saying, like, lay off of it. We'll get what we get. 
if it's good, we don't, I'm not gonna argue. But if people keep complaining about the color of her skin, I'm going to lose it. So, but with, with the Mulan trailer, I really liked how it looks and how they portrayed it. I did feel more of an Asian culture within it. I've watched a lot of BuzzFeed and stuff with different backgrounds. Um, and I, I thought this was really interesting. So I, I need to know what the name of her, that, that particular type of blade is. Because depending on the blade also determines what type of fighting style she might use, really. But at the same time, I'm going to just give it as a leeway because at this point, at this point, it probably wouldn't even matter, in all honesty. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.